Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you how you can download, install and set up the best PlayStation 3 emulator around, RPC S3. But before we start, don't forget to drop a like into the video and to subscribe for more content like this one. Let's start. For the first step in this tutorial, you want to go into the description down below where you're going to find all the links that you need to follow along. And the first link that we're going to open is RPC S3 itself. On this website, you want to go into the link where you see download and click on it. And in here, you're going to find three different versions depending on the operating system that you're using. If you're using Windows, Linux, or macOS. In my case, I'm going to be downloaded the version for Windows. Click into download to start the download process. And now we're going to need two other pieces of software to be able to use this emulator. And you can find them right here into the quick start of RPC S3. On the quick start, you are also going to find the recommended requirements, minimum requirements, as well as laptop requirements. And here are two of the other downloads that you need. One of them is a PlayStation 3 system software, and the other one is Visual C++. Now, you only need Visual C++ if you're going to be installing it into a Windows machine. If not, you don't need to download this. Now, when you click into Visual C++, you're going to start automatically downloading the file. But for the PlayStation 3 system software, you want to click inside of here. This new website is going to get opened, and you want to click into download PS3 update. Now, if you have any problems downloading the PlayStation 3 system update, and this gives you a warning that doesn't know the file, you can click into keep, because this file is directly from Sony PlayStation, so it doesn't have any viruses or anything on it. Once you have downloaded all of those files that you guys know that you are going to need as well, WinRAR or 7-zip to uncompress some of the files itself. Now that you have everything downloaded in your PC, you want to open your downloads folder. And the first thing that we want to do is to double click into the RPC S3 WinRAR file. When WinRAR is open, you want to click into Extract 2. You can select the destination path that you want, or you can make it in the default folder, that is OK. The second software that we want to install is the Visual C++. So double click into the file. You want to agree to the license terms and conditions. You can read them on later and click into install. If you see this right here, setup fail, this is because you already have a newer version installed in your system and you don't need to install this one. Now that you have everything installed and uncompressed on your PC, what I recommend you guys to do is to create a new folder for the emulator itself. You can do it anywhere that you want in your system. In my case, I'm going to create it in the desktop. Right click, click into create new folder, and I'm going to call it RPC S3. Once you have that folder created, you can open the folder where you have uncompressed RPC S3, and you want to select all of the files and move them to that folder. Also as well, you want to take the file that we downloaded for Sony, this PUP file, and set it in the same folder. Once you have copied all the files that you need inside of the RPC S3 folder, you want to start the software by double clicking into RPC S3.exe file. Here is one small prompt. You can click into I have read the quick start guide and not to show again and click into continue. Now the emulator software is going to be open, but right now you cannot run any games or do almost anything with the software. First, we have to download that software that we downloaded from PlayStation. And to do that, you want to click into the top left corner where you see File. Scroll down until you see Install Firmware. One new window is going to pop up and you want to select the ps3.pup file that we downloaded before and click into Open. Now this is going to compile all the modules that you need. You only need to wait until this is done. And as long as this is working, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about games. For the games, you are going to need to have a Blu-ray drive in your PC and to rip them yourself. Now, there are other ways that you can find the backup of the games that you own already and set it up in your PC, but I cannot really show you how to do it right here. But simply with a Google search, you're going to find everything that you need. Now that the firmware is installed, let's go a little bit about the settings of the program. Click into configuration and open any of them. Now into CPU, I recommend you guys that to leave everything like it is. Let's jump into GPU. Inside of this tab on the renderer, the best that you can choose is Vulkan. So make sure that you have this one right here. The default resolution is okay, it's the recommended one. Or I would recommend you guys if you have a little bit of a good PC, is to set up the resolution scale to around 150% that is going to give you a 1080p image of the games. 
everything else you can leave it as it is if you have any problems you can try with any of the other settings like shader quality or the additional settings every other settings i will leave it as it is because they work perfectly fine so now you want to click into apply and then into save now i'm going to show you how to set up your controller now you can use the dualshock 3 and dualshock 4 with this emulator you can also use xbox controller or what i'm using right here and this is the ultimate wired xbox controller or something like that from 8 video if you guys want to check it out i'm going to let you affiliate link in the description down below to start the setup of the controller you want to click where you see pads on the top left corner by default this is going to be configured to use a keyboard but you want to change it right here into handlers on this drop down menu you're going to have the different options keyboard dualshock 3 dualshock 4 dual sense and everything else now if you want to select an xbox controller or the one from 8 video that i have right here you want to select into x input and normally it should be already working as it is as you can see by the movement on the screen the controller is perfectly set up and of course you can change any of the keys as preference for yourself click into save and now it's going we can start to copy games into the emulator itself open once more the folder of rpcs3 in here you're going to see that there are new folders and one of them is called games double click into it and as you can see right here these games can be put here for automatic detection so what you want to do is to take your games and copy it inside of this folder like i have done right here now you can close the folder and you can click into the refresh button of rpcs3 as you can see the game is going to be right there inside of here you're going to see if the game is compatible because not all the games are compatible with this emulator there are a lot that run really good with it but of course there are some exceptions like everything in life if you guys want to see a completely compatibility list you can find it on their website right here and i'm also going to let you guys the link in the description now all that you have to do is to double click into the game to launch it as you can see the games they run really good on this emulator of course i recommend you again that you check out in the rpcs3 website and that is pretty much it guys now you can go and enjoy your playstation 3 games once more from your pc thanks for watching if you enjoy the content don't forget to drop that like button that is really important for the youtube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you are new in here see you guys on the next time bye bye